Hello, I'm Ben Mankiewicz. Welcome back to TCM as we continue to spend the night honoring the four original Warner Brothers and the studio they launched 100 years ago. On April 4th, 1923, four enterprising Polish Jewish immigrants with a passion for the movies formerly incorporated their own Hollywood studio, Warner Brothers. This month on TCM, we're celebrating Warner Brothers' centennial with a lineup of movies that traces the studio's history and impact. Tonight, we're starting with the earliest years when Harry, Albert, Sam, and Jack Warner were still finding their footing in the burgeoning motion picture industry. The brothers Warner entered the business years before forming the studio as we know it, when movies were still a brand new medium. They started out exhibiting films on a traveling basis. By 1904, they had acquired theaters and moved into film distribution. A decade later, they began producing their own films. Then, in 1917, they moved their production headquarters to Hollywood. In 1923, they incorporated as Warner Brothers, but they nearly lost it all right away. The studio was in dire financial straits, might have gone under if not for the sudden discovery of a wildly popular movie star. That star was a German shepherd named Rin Tin Tin. Up next, he stars in the 1925 Warner Brothers picture Clash of the Wolves. Rin Tin Tin was discovered in France by an American corporal, Lee Duncan, serving overseas during World War I. Duncan rescued the dog from a bombed out kennel and named him after a popular French puppet. When Duncan returned home to the U.S., he brought Rin Tin Tin with him and quickly realized that Rinty was no ordinary dog. Duncan entered him into a dog show where Rinty jumped over a wall that was nearly 12 feet high and a friend managed to record the jump on film. A newsreel company paid $350 for the footage and Corporal Duncan parlayed that success into a movie contract. Warner Brothers put the dog in a cheap 1923 production called Where the North Begins. The movie grossed over $300,000 in a single weekend. The studio, Warner Brothers, was back in business thanks to the leaping ability, loyalty, and commitment to squirrel chasing of its first big star. From 1925, also with Charles Farrell and June Marlowe, here is Rin Tin Tin in Clash of the Wolves. Rin Tin Tin made his film debut at Warner Brothers in 1923, became such a hit with audiences that his pictures literally saved the studio from bankruptcy. Jack Warner nicknamed him the Mortgage Lifter. The dog's pictures also gave an important boost to an enterprising writer and producer named Daryl Zanuck. Zanuck, who'd go on to become the head of 20th Century Fox, started out supervising most of the Rin Tin Tin films, and he soon became Jack Warner's right-hand man at the studio. In total, Rinty starred in 27 silent films, and the success of those movies paved the way for Warner Brothers to become one of the top studios in Hollywood. By the end of the decade, Warner's would be the home of Ernst Lubitsch, John Barrymore, and an invention that changed the course of movie history, synchronized sound. Coming up, a new documentary from France about the origins of sound in movies and the role that Warner Brothers played in that revolution. Cinema finds its voice is next on Turner Classic Movies.